Hello Scorpio, welcome to your February 2018 astrology forecast with me, Anushka. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually doing, oh sorry, did I say astrology? I meant tarot, sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I'm actually doing tarot readings for all the signs, so it's really exciting and I've been getting some really wonderful feedback, so you know, let me know guys, you know, um, how you find the reading. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this. It's something I've wanted to do for a while because I've, I've um, oh, there we go. <laughs> King of Swords. All right, we're get we're going already. But yeah, something I've been wanting to do and share with the world for a while, and I finally got the confidence up to to put myself out there. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys are doing well. Right, I'm getting good energy, Scorpio. I'm getting, ooh, I'm getting exciting energy. I'm getting quite powerful energy. I feel movement for you guys. So let's see what's in store for you, shall we? Right. Okay, Scorpio. Now let's see how you're coming into the month. Now my camera did just cut out, so if it keeps doing it, just ignore it. I'm just going to keep on going and, you know, turn it back on. <laughs> right, so I've shuffled your cards now. Let's see how you're coming into this month. Okay, so this is how you're starting this month off. I hope you can see it all right there. So we've got the Five of Cups. This is your environment. High Priestess. And the people in your environment, okay. There's a possible new relationship coming up for some of you here, I feel. Okay, and this is kind of like an advice card. This can be something that you're missing or or just, it's just kind of like helps to clarify. So this is like a warning or a blessing, you know, a little bit of advice. And then this is how we can expect you to finish off the month. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I'm liking this energy. Okay, so I really feel some of you are moving forward into a new relationship into a fresh start of something and your passion is being reignited and I really like this for you. This is as a result of you putting something to bed. Okay, so the Five of Cups, when it's upright, it represents, it's that kind of crying over spilt milk, you know, not looking at what we have um, in favor of looking at what we've lost and in favor of regrets. But you're not doing this, you're coming into this month strong and you're saying, you know what, that relationship, that um, situation, that circumstance that was causing me so much pain and that I had so much difficulty getting over, I've now put it to bed, I put it to rest. I understand the lessons in it. I understand why it was there and what it taught me and I can now thank it. Because true, you know, this is about forgiveness. You have made peace with something. Well done, Scorpio. I feel like for a lot of you, it's to do with a relationship. And I feel like it was a relationship that you felt somehow like they got under your skin or they got their claws into you. That's what I want to say. It kind of, it went really deep and you found it hard to let go. You're able to now say, you know what, I forgive you and thank you. Thank you for um, the blessing in that hardship. Thank you for what it has taught me. Thank you for what it has given me. And you're making peace with that. And that's beautiful because when we can make peace with, whether it's, make peace with what someone did to us or what we've done to ourselves. You know, quite often self-forgiveness is one of the hardest things for us to do. So it could even be to do with forgiving yourself. But when we do that, we open ourselves up to so much greater energy and for new to enter our life because we finally put closure on that situation. So this is how you're coming into the month. And I really like this. Those lunar eclipses have been working for all of us to help us clear out and, um, and to put to bed the things that don't serve us, be they relationships, habits, situations, jobs, whatever. So I feel like you've been working with this energy and you're coming to a really good place. And I'm seeing blessings here. I'm seeing a fresh new start. Now this may well be, I feel like this for some of you, this is a new relationship that's just going to ignite you and it's gonna give you you're just gonna, you're gonna feel like this is your soulmate. I really feel like that for some of you. And they may well be, because this is the card that fell out when I was shuffling, they may well be an air sign person. Okay, Libra, Aquarius, or um, who's the other one? Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. <laughs> or they may present themselves like this. So they might be quite intelligent, um, quite a talker, quite cerebral, um, you know, quite wise, but I feel like there's a spiritual aspect and element to them as well. Um, and this is quite a spiritual union between the two of you. I'm seeing 
I'm seeing passionate, fresh start energy, and the two of you could accomplish a lot together. You're on the same page. Um, you would make an amazing team, and this relationship has a potentiality to be very rewarding. Also on a spiritual level, this is the kind of person that I really think you will like. Um, you know, because Scorpios, you are deep, and you feel deeply, and this can be why letting go of past hurts and betrayals or forgiving yourself can be a hard thing to do because you feel on such a deep level. This person, this new person that's coming into your life though, they've got this beautiful mix of being intelligent, of being witty, of being smart, but yet at the same time, they have depth and there is more to them than originally meets the eye. And this is nice because I feel like this is what your past relationships have been lacking. This is what your past partners have been lacking. This person is a far more rounded person. And I see the two of you really igniting one another's passions in life and marching forward together successfully. And I, I see you gaining the support of your friends and family and them saying, yes, this person is right for you. Now, for those of you who are in a couple, I see this playing out as a fresh start in your romance. And you, the best thing I would, I could suggest to you would be, um, you know, if you can remember why it was you got together, remember what drew you to one another, why you fell in love and do those things to reignite that passion because I feel like there's a sense of union here that's coming in between the two of you and I feel like it could be just like a, a new lease on your relationship, perhaps because you've gone through some tough times and you've had to learn to forgive each other and put them in the past. So this I really, really like. Um, I'm gonna talk about how this relates to career in a minute. The only thing that I would warn against, Scorpio, would be this Ten of Rods here, okay? So this is saying to me that there is a potential, and I feel like it's going to be later in the month, there is the potential that somebody could try and provoke you. Now, it could be this ex-lover that you've had to get over. It could be it could be anyone, really, but it's somebody who knows how to press those buttons. There could be a potential provocation. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in it. Don't allow yourself to become de defensive. Just rise above it and move on because you've got too much good going for you. And I feel like this, that will only drag you back into this energy where you're starting to ref to to um, mourn the past and regret and you know all of that kind of stuff. Because this this says to me. I'm on the defensive. This says to me I'm feeling suspicious. I don't trust people's actions and motives. You know, I don't I don't trust this. And it's got me feeling slightly paranoid. Um, but this is in your control. Now, we all have it where good things happen to us. And it's just part of being a human being, you know, good things happen to us. And sometimes we feel like it's too good to be true. That's kind of what I feel could cause this for you, Scorpio. Okay, so you're thinking, oh my God, I've met this person, they're so amazing, this feels so right. Don't start projecting your past partner's um, behaviors onto them. Don't start being suspicious of them and thinking this is too good to be true. What's wrong with them? You know, all of that kind of thing. I know Scorpios can be known for being suspicious. This is time to trust the universe and ride, ride with that energy, okay? Um, for some of you, I see this um, playing out in terms of you getting really, really passionate and committed to something business-wise, creatively, or it could just be a new way of expressing yourself. I see Scorpios going, do you know what? I don't give a shit anymore about what anyone else thinks. I've wanted to do this thing for so long, I'm gonna do it. And the universe is saying, yes, go for it. And you're gonna gain support and followers. So if there is a project you want to start or wanna put out there, if there is a business you want to start, if you just wanna start doing something you've never done before, like, I don't know, singing in a choir or, or whatever, but you never felt confident enough to, you are going to gain friends, followers, supporters through being bold and taking that action because this is you being reignited again. Okay, this is you being reignited and feeling passion for life and feeling that zest for life, you know, and it could well be that this, this, you know, for those of you who aren't really interested in love, that this air sign can be somebody who will help in pushing the business forward or the creative project forward or in, <clears throat> you know, um, finding a way to launch your business so that it ends up being a success. But I see as a result of you putting to bed certain things and releasing 
um, certain things. I see you opening up to far greater spiritual energy and intuition, and your fan, your your fans, your flames being fanned, and really moving forward with a sense of purpose. I see you getting excited about life this month, Scorpio. I really do. But the only thing that can trip you up is if you start saying this is too good to be true. Now that could even apply to business. It could be like, oh, I've got two, I've got so many followers, or I've had so many sales. This is too good to be true, and starting to doubt yourself. Don't allow, don't allow this in, okay? This can be avoided. We can turn this upright where he is victorious and he is ready to continue to battle if he needs to, but he doesn't need to anymore, you know? We can make that victorious. Just don't allow the negativity to get inside your mind. Let me just check, my camera's still going? Yes. Okay, but I'm really seeing, I'm seeing this mainly as a love reading and business creative opportunity now you've got your personal planets moving to the fifth house so that makes sense because the fifth house is about self-expression and creativity and romance and fun and i feel like the spark is coming back for you scorpios and i'm loving it i am loving it i'm telling you somebody some of you have a soulmate connection with this king of swords here it could be male or female but some of you have a soulmate connection with this person and the two of you can accomplish great things together. You'll feel so strong as a union. I really, really see that. And for those of you, like I said, who aren't interested in love at the moment, you're feeling bolder. You're feeling like it's time for me to get mine. Do you know what I mean? You're feeling like I'm not hiding anymore. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be in the shadows anymore. I'm going after what I want. And that passion and that zest for life is coming back. So I'm really happy for the, for you, Scorpio. I feel like this is gonna be a really positive month. Um, I suggest that you, anytime you start slipping into negative talk, find self-talk, find some inspirational videos on YouTube, you know, that help you to realign your focus okay and stay positive okay we want to be going with the flow of life we don't want to be struggling against it and the universe is giving you some fantastic opportunities now some of you this could be like i don't want to say a promotion but i want to say like this could be like a big opportunity to for you to be seen as you've never been seen before okay it's hard for me to say how i, I feel like it's got something to do with you as a person and almost like someone might go Someone might kind of offer you an opportunity because of how you are, how you present yourself, how you express yourself. And this opportunity will allow you to kind of be even more expressive and you're gonna love it. And like I said, you're gaining followers and you're riding into your future strong, okay? So Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed that reading. It was a pleasure giving it. And um, I will be back next month. Thank you very much, take care, bye-bye.